Okay, so this is going to be a lesson on the secant versus tangent line. So we're going to be looking at secant lines and tangent lines. And hopefully this is a review or partly a review of these two concepts. Okay, so I have a graph right here that shows a function f of x. It's in blue. I tried to color code everything here. So the f of x is in blue right here. And in green, we have the secant line, which is just a line that's based off of two points of the function. So this point here and this point here, I connected the two points and made a line. So it's based off two points. With those two points, you can use them to figure out the equation of that line. So that's the secant line. The tangent line, it's in red right here. And I just have them sharing a point right here, so really this should be a red dot as well, but it's sharing a point with the secant line. But a tangent line is a line based off one point touching a function. Okay, so right now it's touching this one point right here um, and nothing else. Now, it could technically be intersecting other parts of the function. Um, you know, say this was a function x to the third. Um, it could be coming back down and crossing it, but really the line is based off of that one point. Okay, so it's only touching that one point and none of the points that are surrounding it. Now, again, it could if the function goes out further um, or changes, but even so, the tangent line is just based off of that one point. And that's really important to understand. The secant line, based off two points. Tangent line is based off one point. Now, you might remember the tangent line from geometry when you had a circle and you have the, the radius here of the circle. The tangent line is perpendicular to the radius and is only touching one point on the circle. Okay, so that's the tangent of a circle. Now, what we're going to do and what we need calculus to do is to try to figure out, well, we, we can easily figure out the equation for a secant line with two points. You can figure out the slope, you can figure out the slope intercept, you can make an equation. Tangent line, however, it's a little harder because you only have one point. So in the next video, I'm going to be describing how to actually find out the equation of a tangent line based on one point. Okay? So if you have any questions on this, let me know.